Good afternoon, Hope Church. I hope you're all well today. My name's Jo, and I'm going to be bringing you um, today's Five Minutes of Hope. So over the past few weeks, I've been pondering over a verse from Isaiah. It's Isaiah 45, verse 3, so I'm just going to read that to you now. I will give you the treasures of darkness, the riches of a hidden the riches hidden in secret places, so that you will know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. And the bit in that that I've been really pondering over is the treasures of darkness. That seems such a bizarre phrase. How can there be treasures in darkness? And I think I've just been thinking about the fact that in Psalm 139, it says that God doesn't even see darkness. So it's us that sees the darkness. It's us that gets trapped in the darkness. But God doesn't see that darkness. Yet there's treasures in that darkness. And it's the treasures of the darkness that it says in one of the versions um, from the Bible that that has really been striking to me, really. It's really struck me. And I've also been thinking about Noah. So Noah built this, he was a righteous man. He was the only really righteous man at that time and God called him to build this ark. It took him a long time. And not only did he build this ark, but then he had to wait for the rain to finish before he could see really the fruit of what, what he had built. And he was an old man when that all happened. He was over 600 years old. And I just wonder whether he was in a dark place at that time. Was was Noah like, yeah, God's called me to build this ark and I'm really excited because it's going to take me a long time and the rain is going to come for so many days? Or was he in this really dark place? Did he, Every time he sent that dove out, did he have everything crossed on both hands and his legs and his toes and everything, just hoping for the dove to come back with a sign of hope for him? Or was he in a really dark place? Did he know the promise in Isaiah that his darkness had hidden treasure, that that time of him waiting for the rain to stop, did he know that there was hidden treasure in that time? Or, like us, when we're we're struggling in times, did he, was he struggling in that darkness? And I've been thinking also at the moment about um, times of darkness that we might be in. Um, job insecurity. I know a few people are going through that at the moment. Um, Financial insecurity with all of the um, furlough schemes and just the bizarre situation that we've found ourselves. Health insecurity, health darkness and that can be a really huge one when when we're poorly or when we've lost loved ones. It's a really, really dark time. But do we do we know that when we're in that dark place, <clears throat> excuse me, do we run away from God or do we run to him? Do we know that God is the light and that he is with us or do we actually just dwell in the darkness? Do we realise the treasures that are in that dark place or are we so deep in the dark that we can't even see the treasures? And I also want to think about, I've also been thinking about um, the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me again, sorry, when we're in that dark place, do we think that God's over in, in the light and that we're striving to get to that light? Or do we know that God has actually propelled himself to us in that darkness? He has just not run away from us when we're in that dark place, but he has brought himself closer to us so that he can be with us through that dark time. So I'm praying at the moment for the people that are in that dark place. I'm praying for people that um, might not know that there's hidden treasure for them in the darkness that they're going through at the moment. If you're not and if you're in a really great place at the moment then that is amazing and I ask for you to pray for those people too that are in a dark place. Um, And I just want to finish this five minutes of hope. by reading that verse again from Isaiah. It's Isaiah 45 verse 3, if any of you want to look it up for yourselves. Um, I'm going to try and be clever and put it on the screen as well for you to read it as I read it. But here we go, and I'm going to leave this with you today so that you can really focus on that, that there is hidden treasure in the dark times that we go through, but we have to stand firm 
in that promise, we have to stand with God by our side, who has propelled himself towards us so that he will walk through that dark time with us. Not to shy away from him, not to hide from him, but to just remember that there is hidden treasure in that promise. So here's the last verse, the verse again for you. And I will give you the treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, the one who calls you by name. I'm just going to leave that with you today. And I'm praying for you all, can't wait to see you all, and hope that you have a great day. Thank you.